Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about the organic acid test. Now this is a profile, a urine profile, that's run from a laboratory called Great Plains Laboratory. And this test is one of the first things that I do in my practice as a way to assess for yeast and bacterial problems. It also evaluates other types of metabolic issues, what are called inborn errors of metabolism, or can also pick up on, on functional vitamin and nutrient deficiencies as well. So it's an important thing to run. And it's generally an easy test to perform because it is a urine test. Now, the two markers or the two areas specifically that are very important to evaluate for most kids on the autism spectrum is the yeast section and the bacterial section. Yeast, we know, is a very common problem for kids. Um, and with autism, they're greatly affected neurologically by many of the different types of yeast markers. One in particular is called arabinose, which is a byproduct of candida. And arabinose, we know, can have a, a major impact on neurological function, particularly manipulation of various chemicals in the brain that can affect attention and focusing. It can create problems behaviorally where kids become more agitated or irritable, sometimes silly, goofy, giddy, inappropriate laughter. Um, and also kids who tend to have yeast problems too, many times will become more stimmy. So whether it's uh, visual stimming, um, physical stimming of some sort, or just their sensory um, needs tend to go up as well. Whether it might be uh, you know, becoming more uh, sensitive to sound or light or needing more pressure. Whatever it may be, yeast can be a contributing factor. Now bacteria are also a major problem for kids on the spectrum too, and we're talking about intestinal yeast and intestinal bacteria. One particular type of bacteria that's evaluated through the organic acid test is called Clostridia. Now there are many different types of Clostridia bacteria, and the specific marker on the organic acid test called the HPHPA marker helps to identify the presence of Clostridia bacteria. Now, you could think of Clostridia and the behavioral effects sometimes triggered by Clostridia as being somewhat opposite of yeast. It's not exactly that way, but many kids who tend to have Clostridia problems tend to be more irritable, they tend to be more agitated, they can be aggressive, sometimes self-injurious. Um, so they're, just, they're not happy campers, basically. Um, they're just more overall agitated in general. Whereas the yeasty kids, tend to be more goofy, giddy, silly, inappropriate laughter, etc. But every once in a while, you might have a child who has a real bad yeast issue who could be a little bit irritable as well. The issue is, is when you have both things going on. So when you have both situations, you have a yeast problem and a clostridia problem, sometimes the picture can get a little bit blurry and you're not exactly sure. It's not a real textbook presentation. So the organic acid test is important in order to delineate between the two. Um, and it, it becomes an important thing, too, with respects to how you're going to treat, whether you're going to have to treat specifically with antifungal medication or herbs or different supplements, or more specifically go after the clostridia, sometimes with antibiotics or more specialized probiotics. So the organic acid test really should be considered a first-line diagnostic tool for your child. It's one of the first things I do in my practice from a diagnostic standpoint. It's generally easy to obtain because it is a urine test, and I think you would find it a very important tool for the overall biomedical assessment for your child. Thank you.